Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. And today I thought that I would make these romantic votives that you can use around the house or as perfect shower favors. And we'll be starting out with these plain votives, some tissue paper, and of course our Annie Sloan chalk paint. You can use any chalk paint. I just happen to love the Annie Sloan chalk paint. And I'll show you how we can do this easily. And we'll add some embellishments. All of these products are available on my website. If you go to the link below this video, it will take you over to my website. You'll see the list of supplies. You can click on links to buy the supplies. And I had some problems with my website in the past. That's all been straightened out now. So I hope you head on over there to check out what you need. And here's how we can get this started. The first thing you want to do is take some rubbing alcohol and go over all of these votives to make sure there are no oils on them from your fingers or from anything else. Then we want to take our chalk paint. Now I found that these small rollers work the best and I put my chalk paint in a separate container so that it doesn't get all dirty. And I'm just going to take my roller and apply the chalk paint over the whole surface on the outside of my votives except for the bottoms. So what I'll do is paint about four of these because I want to show you four different examples and then I'll put these aside to dry. And while these are drying I'm going to go over to my tissue paper and this tissue paper was made specifically to fit over votives. You've got the smaller sizes on the left and then one large size on the right here in case you wanted to make a plaque or anything else, especially if you're doing a shower or some type of a wedding theme. It's always nice that you can do a few different projects with this. So I'm going to cut out these squares to go over my votives. And once the votives are all dry, I'm going to take my decoupage glue, which I've put in a separate little cup here, and I'm going to apply it over the surface of my votive. And once I've got, by the way, you can use any decoupage glue that you prefer over this. I'll list one on my website that I use all the time that's a very good decoupage glue. And I'm now going to take the tissue paper. I'm just smoothing out the decoupage glue. You don't want there to be any lumps or too much glue in any one spot here. And I'm going to press the paper down. This paper, when you go over to the site Zazzle, this is called the Vintage Watercolor White Roses Paper. You want to make sure you get the 18 pounds. The link will take you over to the site and to the paper that you want, but it comes in 10 pounds or 18 pounds. The 18 pounds is a little bit sturdier and a lot easier to work with. And I'm covering the whole surface with the decoupage glue once I have pressed the paper down. And don't worry if you've got a little excess on the top and the bottom, we can leave that be and just cover your whole surface with the decoupage glue. You want to make sure you're working in very bright light because then you'll be able to tell if there are any wrinkles or lumps underneath. Make sure you dampen your finger with some decoupage glue and press those out or you can use the brush. I can feel, I can feel a lot more with my finger so I'm taking my finger that is in the decoupage glue and I am just pressing any air bubbles out gently. Make sure your finger has that decoupage glue on there though. Then we can put these aside to dry. Because glass is a very difficult surface to keep any paint on, I went back over the back of these with a, a sea sponge and went back into my Annie Sloan chalk paint and just went over the back. Before you even start any of this work, if you would like, there is a product called Zinser Cover Stain. I'll have it on my website. It does take about two hours to dry. If you want to just use one coat of the chalk paint, all you would need to do is at the very beginning of this project, just use the Zinser Cover Stain over the whole outside of this surface and then begin this project. It would take two hours to dry though. So now I'm going to let this dry and move on to the next step. 
and that's just taking a nail file you could use any file or sandpaper that you have and just make sure you file in one direction I'm doing this quickly so it looks like I'm going back and forth just file in one direction pull the file towards you to pull off any excess you may have and you want to make sure you use a top coat now I want a matte vintage look over this so I am spraying all of these with the matte finish and now I am going to decorate these votives I've been doing crafts for about probably about 30 some years and I've never found a glue that holds as well as this E6000 so you can hot glue these in my experience hot glue tends to fall apart after a while it might be good temporarily but if you're using these as wedding favors or shower favors you want to make sure you use something that holds forever now that would be this e6000 glue and that's just a recommendation and what I'm going to do is on this particular one I have added pearls I am adding strings of pearls these are flat back all around the outline of the vintage roses and the back here and then I'll show you what I did with the other ones you could also use something called liquid pearls and outline this any way that you'd like to and I'm just tapping the back here to flatten these out a little bit and you want to lay it flat to dry only work on one side at a time I'm going to lay this flat and I'm going to put something in the center of it so that it doesn't roll around like this while it dries and on the other two votives on this one I took some very pretty trim that I had from a project and put it all around the outside it would look better to outline the whole outside of this this one I used velvet over the outside and you want to think of if you are having a shower or using these as shower favors you can match these to the color of the bridesmaids gowns or the flowers another idea is you can use copper foil to go all around these in those same areas also very pretty and by the way I did use the E6000 glue for the ribbon and the fabric trim as well as the pearl and this is how our completed project look and I'm just going to show you this is the one with the pearls this has the liquid pearls that you would apply yourself here's the one with the fabric around the outside and this is the one with the velvet and here's just a couple of pictures of how these look in the dark and in the meantime my friends thank you so much for subscribing upcycle with decoupage is also on Facebook if you go over and like and follow the page you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out these make beautiful favors for a shower or a wedding or you can just keep them around your house if you're a true romantic like I am and once again the links to all of these supplies are down below and the Annie Sloan chalk paint is a little difficult to find so I will have a different chalk paint that I use when I can't get my hands on the Annie Sloan which is a very good chalk paint and that will be on my website too it's taking me a lot longer to get back to your questions I apologize for that but it is a good problem that I'm getting a lot more people subscribing and I will get back to you as soon as I can in the meantime my friends you have a lovely week we're having finally a lovely spring type of day out there today and I will see you next week with another video thanks again friends bye bye